Today is day 24 of my 60 pounds in 90 days challenge. And today we're going to be smoking some chicken legs. Okay, so first, while we're doing our prep work so our smoker can be preheating, let's set it at 185. Cook it low and slow. We'll set it for six hours. It'll be some, some length of time around that. Might be a little bit longer, but we can add to it if we need to. And we set our time. So now we've got six hours at 185. Oh, here we go. Let me try that one more time. It'd help if I knew what I was doing. Gotta push the button again. There we go. So now we got it set at 185 for six hours. It's at 34 degrees out here. So you'll be able to see how it performs in the cold, but it is not very windy right now. So the wind shouldn't be a bother. And uh, let's go inside and get our chicken laid out. Okay, so here's the little tub that catches the fat and uh, adds moisture to your smoker. Obviously I don't clean it out every time. Um, so I fill it normally about halfway with apple cider vinegar. I don't have quite enough to fill it all halfway. Um, you can see I got this at Walmart. It's just apple cider vinegar. And then I fill it the rest of the way with water. And then I never have to refill it, or I never do anyway, while I'm smoking the legs. I'll just fill it all the way up there, and I'll go put it in the smoker. Uh, the smoker's only been warming up for about six minutes, but it already starts to smell good in there. It's probably only about 60 degrees right now in there, but it's still starting to smell good from the old stuff. So I got my apple cider vinegar and water, and I just slide that in there. You can see I covered my tray here with aluminum foil so I can just rip it off when, whenever it gets too bad. But a lot of those, I know it looks kind of gross, but a lot of that stuff that's dripped on there when it warms up gives the meat that you're cooking some extra flavor. It's almost like having a, a charbroil barbecue and, uh, versus a gas barbecue. You know, you get all that flavor, all the ash in there that gives it all that flavor. So we'll close the door and let it keep warming up. All right, so today I'm going to use these apple wood chips for the legs, and uh, I think I got these at Walmart. They're pretty cheap there. I'll put a link down below to them on Amazon as well in case you just want to grab a bag and get them shipped to your house. And uh, they're not that expensive. They're one of those add-on items, so you can get the shipping free. And uh, I normally wind up adding these about... I would say every hour and a half, so I probably add them four times over the course of the cook. But I don't add them while the stove is preheating because when I open the door to put the chicken in, it'll just let all the smoke out anyway. So it's kind of a waste of the chips. So I'm going to wait till I put the chicken in before I put the chips in the little receptacle. This is the one bad thing about this smoker that I've had happen to me so far. I've been using it for about, well, almost a year now. So I probably used it, I don't know, uh, 15 to 20 times over the course of the year because I don't use it all the time and I try to make a big batch of legs or whatever I'm cooking all at once so it lasts me for a week or so and then I'll wait a week and do it again. This is the worst thing about it though is the LED on the smoker itself already has two spots that are burnt out so you can't read the numbers. Luckily it came with that remote that I showed you earlier so I just used the remote control for it but uh, that's kind of a pain in the butt. And I was looking online trying to find a part to fix it and I haven't found it yet, but I'm going to keep looking and see how much it is. Problem is the smoker's only a couple hundred dollars, so the part would have to be pretty cheap to make it worthwhile to fix. Master built. That's a problem. You should fix it. Well, here's my chicken legs and unfortunately they're still frozen. I've had them in the refrigerator a few days, so I was hoping they'd be thawed out. 
It's probably going to take a little bit longer to smoke them now because they're not completely thawed out. But we'll just add time when we get to the end if, we, if the temperature isn't where we need it to be. And I thought I had pulled out two of these packs. But apparently I only pulled out one, so I'm only going to have 12 legs, which is good because that's about enough to last me for a week of lunch at work. So I'm going to lay them out here on these trays and get them in there. All right, so I've got my chicken legs in there. I had 12 chicken legs, which I used two racks for to make sure that they had room to spread out because the smoke can go all around them that way and get in them every which way. Um, and if you have only one or two racks, you want to put them on the middle. So there's one, two, three, four racks can be held in there. Um, so you want to do right in the middle if you can, which I did here. This particular smoker comes with an internal meat probe. And so I would normally stick that in right now, but because they're uh, frozen, they're gonna have to thaw out a little bit before I'm able to get the meat probe in there. And also when they're frozen like that, they're not gonna take a smoke very well. So I'm gonna wait until they thaw out before I put any chips in too. Uh, you can see it's pretty cold out here. That's snow from the table I was putting the chicken legs together on. Sometimes I pre-season them. But this time I didn't pre-season them because when I get done, I'm gonna put a wing sauce all over them. So they're kind of like giant wings. So it's been heating up for 19 minutes and you can see that it's up to 121 degrees, but I've had the door open a couple times, putting the chicken in and out. So now that we've got everything closed up and we can leave it closed up, we'll probably leave it there for a while. If you're contemplating whether or not you need a smoker with a sight glass or not, um, I like it. And sometimes I clean it so that I can see better. But a lot of times, the only thing I use it for is to make sure that it's filled up with smoke in there. Because sometimes the smoke's not really rolling through to where you can see it coming out the vent at the top. But even though you can't really see the food in here to see what color it's turning or whatever, you can see if it's full of smoke in the glass. So that's the benefit that I see to having one with a glass door. Okay, so I was outside sledding with the kid. I didn't get to see exactly when it hit 185 degrees. Uh, but when I came in, it hit me in 45 minutes, and uh, this, it was all heated up to 185 degrees. So that's when it's 34 degrees outside. It takes probably, I would say, 40 minutes, because I, I did have the door open for a while. So I'd say for about 40 minutes before it gets up to 185 degrees. Okay, so it's been an hour and a half. I feel like the chicken's probably thawed out by now. I'm um, going to go ahead and put this meat probe in there so let's go with the top one here and it's hard to do with one hand there we go so we'll put the meat probe in there actually let me use both hands so i can get it in there real good there we go you want to get it stuck in as deep as you can right next to the bone in a, in a very fleshy part of the meat so I got it in there as, as good as I can. I picked what looks to be the most accessible and biggest chicken leg there is in there. And now we're gonna put some wood chips in as well for our first time. Okay, so I got my apple wood chips and I filled up my little tube and I'm gonna put my tube in there and turn it over and uh, dump them out so that they'll smoke. Okay, so I turned my smoker up halfway through, three hours into the smoke, I turned it up to 275 to get the temperature rising on the meat a little bit faster because I didn't want it cooking too late since I started with frozen chicken legs. And so now I have an internal temperature of 191, which is plenty for poultry. And you can see also that like the meat is pulling away from the legs in a couple spots. The skin is pulling away from the legs on that one. So um, when it's pulling away from the bone like that, you can tell that it's actually done. And they're not very dark because I only added wood chips twice this time instead of the three to four times that I normally do. So they're probably not going to have a supremely smoky flavor, but they will be smoky and tender. And I'm going to toss them in a wing sauce, so I'm going to get extra flavor that way. Let's take them inside and make our sauce. Okay, so here's my chicken legs after I pulled them out of the smoker. And um, I left them in there a little while longer after I said I was going to pull them out just because I wanted them to get a little bit darker and get the skin to be a little bit more crispy. Now I'm going to go and make a quick wing sauce to toss them in. All right, it's going to be a super simple wing sauce. So I've got, I don't know, whatever butter was left in the stick there. It's probably about three tablespoons. 
and three little packets of stevia. Stevia in the raw stuff. And this Louisiana hot sauce that I got at the dollar store, but you can use this or Frank's Red Hot. Kind of any kind of Louisiana hot sauce is what you're looking for. So I'm gonna microwave it all together and mix it together so that the butter melts and then I'm gonna dredge my legs in it. Okay, so I've got my legs here and I've got my sauce that I microwaved so the butter would melt and mix it all up. And I've got um, three work days ahead, so I'm gonna go ahead and put all the legs in the containers ready for lunch. I'm gonna put three in each and whatever's extra I'm gonna eat right now because I'm hungry. Okay, so there's the two I get to eat right now. And I'm gonna pour the extra sauce over the legs that I have for lunch. There's three of them in each container there for lunch. And um, I think that's all for under $5. I think the, the legs were like $4 and something. And I used half the bottle of hot sauce and a little bit of butter. So even if you had some money for that, let's call it six bucks. Six bucks for uh, the main course of three lunches and a snack right now. So pretty good deal. Not too hard either. The worst part is just waiting for the smoker to get done because it takes so long. But it makes it so tender and flavorful that it's worth it.